619 Charlotte Road. Um, first off, I want to say that the Chances have done a lot for Hagar over the years and they've contributed greatly to a slow, methodical growth in Hagar, which is inevitable. Um, they have provided affordable housing for people that can't afford a mortgage. There are lots of people that can't afford to buy a house and they have provided nice, aesthetically pleasing, affordable homes um, for those who can't afford but want to live in Hayhara. So for that I'm truly grateful. The properties that they currently have in Hayhara on Hagen Bridge, on 122 and on um, Main Street all coexist nice with single family dwellings um, and in fact on Hagen Bridge those homes came in after the apartments or the duplexes were built and I don't believe it has affected the value of those homes at all. In fact they have sold repeatedly some homes have in that area so I don't think it's really a matter of affecting the property values when the apartments look aesthetically pleasing as they do. Um, Growth in Hayhara is inevitable. It's going to happen. Um, we have to be in control of that growth, though, and it has to be um, at a rate that our infrastructure can handle. Sewer, water, streets, all of these things are going to have to be addressed at some point in time. But let's not let this gradual growth be impeded because we do have infrastructure issues that we'll have to address at that time. I know Mason mentioned the other night, let's watch, you know, if there's problems with the street, we'll address it at that time. I think that um, extremely reasonable, the streets right now, even with the homes that are out there, need work. We know that. And if we add, what does Kenny say? A car every five minutes? Uh, yeah. It, it's going to require work at some point in time. We know that. Um, and that's what growth is all about. So let's just don't let um, the fact that infrastructure is going to have to be addressed at some point in time to prevent us from growing. Um, and then the last thing I'd like to say is um, that, as I said, the Chinese have done a lot for Hayhara. And I can fully see them saying, you know, if, if, if we don't want this, you know, we'll back out, whatever. But let's just consider what they have, what they have provided for Hayhara in the way of affordable housing, and let's try to come together and work on as a compromise so that we can continue that tradition of providing affordable housing for those who can't afford to buy. Thank you. Thank you, Ms. Ryan. <laughs> Anyone else we wishing to speak in favor of? Anyone else wishing to speak in favor of?